to vie for the most prestigious title in the world. Miss Universe! Live from America's entertainment capital. What you're about to see is essentially a living parade of color and fantasy. It's the special event you don't want to miss. Sometimes you have to cross the international date line just to hang out with the world's most beautiful women. It's complete fantasy, really. It's like you've got the crown, you've got the dress. Great experience, though. Join one billion viewers. This is a nerve-wracking and exciting experience for each one of these ladies. In over 170 countries. The whole world is tuned in and ready to watch one young woman experience her dream come true. In the crowning of Miss Universe 2006. Live this morning with a primetime encore tonight on Star World. I believe that we had two Miss Universe, so I know that we will have a great chance in getting a seat in the Miss Universe Beauty Pack. I have seen her train. I have seen her even before Bini Bini Filipinas, and I know that there's something within her. So I think she'll really make it, and she'll be able to bring home the crown. We'll know you will make it, and we'll keep on praying, and we will know that when you come back here in the Philippines, you're wearing the Miss Universe crown. Watch the Miss Universe 2006 here on the Prime Ship. Miss Universe 2006, July 24, Monday 7. Before the show. Began. Um, during that time, there were a lot of feminists, and the feminists were against um, beauty pageants. So we had a lot of security, and the security uh, were stopping all the um, rallying of the feminists, burning of the bras, and of course. There was a lot of tension because Israel and Lebanon were in the pageant, so they also had a lot of security because of that. We had helicopters hovering around, so there wouldn't be any, I don't know. In the also terrorists soon. It just was fights and stuff like that. Well, it was obviously tension filled. Yeah, yeah. Okay, by the time the pageant started, did you have an inkling already that you'll go all the way and win the crown? Um, I tell you, everybody always asks me that question. Nobody has an inkling. Nobody has an idea. Uh, but everybody wants to win. I mean, let me remind you, nobody thinks that they're there to lose. Uh, two days before, we have the pre-pageant best in swimsuits. So you sort of have an edge if you're included in the best in swimsuit. Uh, during my time, there were 10 best in swimsuits. And you feel you're going to be in if you're best in swimsuit, but it doesn't always hold true. But maybe 90% of the times, um, the, the 10 or the 9 or the 8 will surely come in, the majority. You were among the Yes, chance. yes. Sir. Obviously. Um, your pageant was held in Miami, Miami, Florida. Um, the exactly the same place where Muhammad Ali became Muhammad Ali. Uh, the, the day before, I know, we first had a pageant and three days after from Cassius Clay he became Muhammad Ali. He was in fact in the hotel, he was beside us in the rooms, you know, so it's supposed to be the, the floors were only for the misses, but I think the hotel was full, so they put his group in the same area but just like cordoned off. They cannot go with the girls or something like that. He was just very, very young, very that just goes to show you how many years back I go. Did you start out as a favorite? Uh, definitely not. All beauty pageants always, always go for the blonde, blue eyed, or the very, very, um, you know, um, exotic Latin Americans. I, I don't think there's any beauty pageant, including in Japan, including Thailand, and including Philippines. Always the blonde and the blue eyes are, uh, are blue eyed uh, contestants are the favorites, or photographers. What do you think are the chances of our present delegate? Actually, I was just asking you a while ago, but I haven't seen her in person. And I saw her in the picture. She looks cute. I, 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 you know, um, beauty pageants are not exactly uh, beauty pageants per se. It's really, it, it really goes with a lot of luck. It's got nothing to do with she's the most beautiful because each person has her type. I mean, the Chinese, like maybe Chinese looking, the Japanese, and you can see they have a, a, a whole um, mixture of judges. So 
It's really luck. I mean, this guy gave you a 90. And we still have a chance of finally bagging. Oh, yeah. Numbers. We're go getting closer and closer. Maybe she, she shouldn't fall. Maybe she should faint <laughs> or something. <laughs> so that they'll take notice of us, of us, right? Maybe faint and cry and bawl. Well, I don't know. Miss <laughs> Gloria, any message for our candidate, Leanne Ramos? Leanne, wish you the best of luck and um, make a lot of friends, uh, take a lot of memories, and um, come home with the bacon and the crown. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Gloria Diaz. Thank you for bringing the country so much glory. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. And the quest continues after this break. This break. This special is brought to you by Sun Life Finance. Sa Puerto Rico sa Miss Universe at talaga nga naman ang ating uh, representative doon ay naging favorite. Isang balingkinitan, elegante at matalinong Miss Philippines ang ating ipinadala doon. Walang iba kundi si Binibining Pilipinas Universe 2002, Karen Agustin. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Mr. Fu, and good morning to all of our televiewers this morning. Ayan, thank you for joining us, Karen. Ito, syempre, excited tayong lahat sa Miss Universe, I no? I know. Ito, chismis lang. Okay. <laughs> okay. 17th place. Ulitin ko, ha? 17th, 17, ha? <laughs> Ang narating mo nung Miss Universe 2000 to Adabi. Ilan ba kayo nun? I think we were 78, 79. Oh. I I can hardly remember. Ako, ang dami. Ito, 17th. So, anong reaction mo nung nalaman mong 17th ka? I was like, wow, 7 na lang na girls. Ako na sana yung top 10. Ah. Sayang. Ah. It was, um, I wasn't really disappointed. I was surprised mm -hmm. that I made it to number 17. But I was always thinking na, if only, <laughs> if only, I would, maybe I did a little better, I would have made it in at least number 10. That would have been really, really great for the country. Mm. Pero syempre, sarap ng feeling, di ba? Na parang... Still, yes. Tapos ito, nung syempre in-announce na yung top 10, ano reaction ng mga hindi natawag or parang meron ba nag-iyakan, <laughs> nagbatuhan ba dun sa backstage? Ano nangyari? Well, personally, for me, my hmm. own experience, I was, I was sad. I was very sad because it took me, I, I had like months of training. Um, I've been dreaming about being in Miss Universe for like a, a, a lot of years already. And I was already there and I wasn't part of top 10. And then the other girls, wow, ganun pala talaga. I didn't, I didn't like cry na parang hagul gold style, but there were girls who were really sobbing. At you mentioned yung pagiging favorite. Hindi ko ba naramdaman mo yun na parang, wow, oh, medyo favorite ako dito. <laughs> Mer meron ka ba ganun feeling during that time? Um, I didn't expect that I would get that kind of reaction from the Puerto Ricans. Mm -hmm. So yes, I did feel that um, among the Asians, I was one of the Asians to beat. Mm -hmm. And um, it's for us girls, we get the news. We, we get newspapers like every day. Mm -hmm. uh, they give us like three kinds of different kinds of newspapers mm -hmm. every day. They would slip it under our, our doors. So we'll, we're very excited. We'd open it up and you know look at who, who are the girls who made it to the newspaper. And um, I noticed that you know I would see myself. Um, and a lot of a lot of the editions, and I kept all of that, champagne. Uh -huh. And also on TV, when we would watch um, their local channels there, I, I would hear, I don't understand Spanish, but, but I would hear Filipinas be being that. mentioned like one of the top, one uh -huh. of the favorites, or one of the best catwalk. Uh -huh. one of Sabi nila, kapag uh, sumasali daw ng Miss Universe, kailangan daw maglagay ng petroleum jelly dun sa gums. <laughs> Tapos para makasmile ka, makaganyan ka lang lang. Yes. <laughs> Tama ba yun? Actually, hindi lang Miss Universe. All the pageants, kahit local, I even suggest that sometimes as a pageant coach. Why? Why? Kasi minsan, when you smile, for like a very very long time, try smiling for two whole hours on stage. Magda dry yung lips and yung gums. So what will happen is magdidikit yung upper lip on your um, on your upper teeth. Mm. So if you have jelly or petroleum jelly in particular, um, para mas light lang yung smile mo when you open it up. So naglagay ka. Uh, in my case, I didn't. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I just didn't have any problem with that. But there are some girls who did have problems that they died like a pagan. So they always put the truth. Is there any issue sa mga internet? Is it that they are like retocado? The one candidate? Ano, mm. Meron bang ganon? I'm sure there are. Oh, oh, no. Mm. And it didn't start with 2002. Even, even way before, probably. We all know that, you know, particularly some Latinas, mm. um, they're very well known to be not just. Uh, countries where beautiful girls come from, but countries where plastic surgery is um, is, is even a trend. It's a fad for the misses especially. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, I remember in my year, it's not it's a secret at all. I mean, here in, uh, in the Philippines, you know, para nagiya pa, you know, medyo tuta lilo yung mga hindi masad hindi masad nila in ex ano yun in express mm -hmm. na nag naganon sila. But um, in Puerto Rico, okay lang sa kanila normal yun. Okay, have you met ano our candidate for Miss Universe 2006, si Lian? Oh yes, I have. Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, before she went to Colombia for her uh, for a formal training, I was already training her mm -hmm. uh, for for her pageant. I was training her along with the other uh, with the other two girls, Anna Ipil and Denise Valmonte, for their international competition. So, ano tingin mo advantage ni Lian ngayong uh, Miss Universe? Oh wow! First of all, that girl is articulate. That girl is. Incredibly smart. She's so intelligent. She's so sincere, and I believe that that's such a huge factor when it comes to representing the country outside. Um, you have to be very sincere in what you're doing. You have to be able to express yourself in a way that um, you're going to blow the world away. And and Leah can do that. Wow. Fearless yes. forecast. <laughs> okay, yes. Leah, there <laughs> I, I well, I believe that they're getting top twenty now, right? Yeah. So she's going to make it, and not only top twenty. She's going to. Be Make it all the way up there to top five. Wow, ganda sa pasa. Intayin natin yan. Thank you very much, Karen. You're and good welcome. Nako, ito ano to? Eh. Lahat ano to kaya nito? Eh. Coach, <laughs> lahat ng racket. <laughs> Thank you very much and good morning. Thank you very. Thank much. you very Thank much. You. Uh -huh. Good luck, Ian. <laughs> Over have turned their pageant expertise into science by calling themselves. Yes, the term. Mesologists! Correct. Galing ko. Yung mesologists na yan, mga kaibigan ni Joey, Demi Rola. Okay. Yung mga mesologists, galing yan dun sa mga beauty pageants. Kasi, di ba, beauty pageants usually nagsistart yan sa Miss. Miss diba? Universe. Yan, correct. Miss Universe. So, nilagyan na lang nila ng logists. Parang psychologist, sociologist, at kung, kung ano ano mga gist. So, sobrang expert yung mga yan. Nahuhulaan nila kung sino yung pwedeng manalo at sino yung so, tanong nga natin, how does our very own Lian Ramos stand against 85 of the world's most beautiful women? Okay, alamin na natin dito sa ating manghuhula, ay estate sa ating misologist. Siyempre, kapag nanalong Miss Universe ang isang kandidata, siya ay maganda o may dating. Ito ang pinakatiniting na ng mga judges. Pero yung mga iba pang kriteriyang dapat i-consider. Sabi ni misologist Jerry Diaz, sa loob ng 55 years ng Miss Universe, ay nagbago na ang mga kriteriyang yan. Dati, hindi kailangang sobrang sexy, pero dapat magaling sumagot. I was looking at my album of uh, Miss Universe pictures in the 60s. And I found it very amusing, even during the batch of Gloria Diaz. Some of the top five winners, you will not consider as plump using the present standards of beauty, which is, you, you see a lot of model type of beauty queens that um, ordinarily in the 70s, 60s, they would have uh, looked famished. Ngayon, dapat alam model ang dating. Payat, hindi kailangang sobrang talino. Basta marunong sumagot, okay na. There's no more emphasis on beauty and commercial value. Especially in Miss Universe, I noticed that one. You know that Donald Trump owns the franchise already, and he is a very good businessman. I don't think he would want to put his money in things where it will not earn money. So I noticed ever since he got hold of the Miss Universe franchise, he looked at winners who are commercially viable. Ang bagong kriteriyang ito raw ang dahilan kung bakit hindi pa natin nakukuha ang ating third Miss Universe crown. Imagine! Si Margie Moran ang pinakahuli nating Miss Universe noong 1973. Tatlong dekada na yon. Si Miriam Kiambao ang munti ka ng maging Miss Universe natin noong 1999. Pero siya ay naging first runner-up. I think there is an overemphasis on the intelligence part of it. That you have to be very uh, good in answering questions. But in fairness to the Binibin Pilipinas organization, they choose very good candidates in terms of facial beauty. But in the end, they give also a lot of weight on intelligence. So even if they have a candidate who is physically very attractive, very shapely, but would fail in comparison in terms of um, expressing oneself, in terms of answering questions, then they, the candidate that is not physically so outstanding will now be able who, who can carry on a good conversation 
will not have the edge. Naniniwala si Jerry na may laban ang ating kandidatang si Lian Ramos ngayong taon. Well, I think it's her confidence. It's the confidence and then it's her intelligence and the way she answers questions. Uh, it's not meant to impress but something. She just, uh, a person who's intelligent can just, uh, uh, without uh, thinking so much about what she will say, gives out spontaneous answers that can be quite uh, intelligent and can be uh, attractive and impressive as far as the judges are concerned. Maliban sa pagsuporta ni Jerry kay Lian, may ilan siyang paboritong kandidata. Ang isa ay si Miss Colombia. I saw Colombia as very impressive. Um, she's very pretty and she's got class. And we know Colombia as a country that for a certain period, there were three consecutive years where they were first turner up. Binanggit niya si Miss Australia. Uh, Australia, again, was a recent winner. Their candidate this year is so sophisticated, she's got a lot of class, and the projection is uh, so good. She's, she's so polished, like, um, like if you look at it, she's ready to conquer the world, and there's not much makeover that you have to Napansin din niya si Miss Canada. Of course, the current winner is Canada. I don't think fortunately or unfortunately, they're sending an excellent candidate again this year. Canada has always been strong.